Hi everybody, in this Flipped Teacher Professional Learning video, we're going to take a look at what a list is and how we can use them with Twitter. Now, in a normal Twitter feed, you are getting everything. Um, the people that you follow, everything they tweet, retweet, or favorite, everything will pop up, which can make it very difficult to keep track of particular topics or themes or chats. Now, what a list does is it essentially gives you a filtered stream. Uh, it's very, very useful if there's a particular category of people that you're interested in following, if there's a particular chat going on, uh, a hashtag that you want to follow, etc. They're really, really fantastic. Now, they can be quite difficult to find your lists in Twitter. If you come to just you know, twitter.com, go to your page, this is what it looks like. We can't see any indication of lists on this page. What we need to do is click on your name. Uh, it will take you to your specific feed, your specific page. And here at the top on this page, uh, across the top where all the stats are, you can see lists. But you can categorize in any way that you'd like. Now, I've got categories based on a number of different things. What kind of teacher, whereabouts, the location. You can have as many lists as you want, it's completely up to you. But let's take a look at how you can add people or remove people to those lists. So what we need to do is we're looking through Twitter and we notice that there's someone in particular that we want to add to a list. Now, I know that Dr. David Singer is a number of things. Um, in education, so I want to add him to some of my lists. I'm already following him. So what I do is I click on his name and Twitter will then take me to Dr. Zinja's page. Now over here, the little gear wheel, if I click on that, it gives me a an extra menu. There's a number of options on there. We're looking for add or remove from lists. If I click on that one, it brings up a dialog box. Now these are the lists that I already have going and you can see that you can tick as many of those to add that person into them as you want. You can have people in multiple lists, um, but you can also create another list. So at the moment, I've got Dr. Zinger in a Edu Academics and Research list because that's kind of where he fits in. Um, if I wanted to put him into something else, then I could simply click on the relevant box uh, or create a new list. I can give it a name, I can give it a description, I can make it public, which means anyone can follow that list, or I can make it private, which means that only I would be able to see that list. So what happens is once you put someone into a list, you can then get access to that specific list and see what's going on in that feed. Now, as I mentioned before, within Twitter itself, it can be a little bit difficult to, and unwieldy to get access to those lists. You can see here, we're back to it now. If I click on the lists, it brings it up, and here's a list of them, a list of my lists. So if I click on the primary teachers, there's currently 28 tweeters in that list. If I click on primary teachers, what that list is now going to show me are the tweets, retweets, and favorites only by the people in that list. So it gives you a bit of a feel. So that's how you would use lists within Twitter. Now I'm gonna jump across to TweetDeck because TweetDeck actually makes it e even easier. So in TweetDeck at the moment, you know, I've spoken before how the column system works in TweetDeck. It's very, very easy. I come down here and add a column. Now what I can do here is I can add a list and it brings up my lists or I can create a new one. So I'm adding, I wanna add another list. I want to add the list of all of the um, GAFE teachers, GAF teachers, whatever the pronunciation is, I want to add that list to my tweet deck so that every everyone, all the tweets that are made by people in that list so that I can have easy access to them. All I do is click on add column, tweet deck automatically adds that column to the very end here. So now it's very, very easy for me to keep track of what's going on in that particular list. And I can of course move that particular column in the ordering of tweet deck simply by clicking and dragging over here in the left hand menu. If I want to have it right at the right at the start, uh, I can simply drag it across and that does that automatically and there it is right there. So that's a short video of how you can use lists to keep track of things that are going on in particular topics or areas. Uh, thanks very much for watching.